Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's Needham High School. <laughs> Taking on Belmont High School. on High School Quiz Show. Yeah! Cyber attacks aren't always obvious. Home cyber protection from safety insurance can help you protect yourself from cyber attacks. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage live storms. The Museum of Science, featuring a new film, Cuba. Through the eyes of Cuban artists, historians, and scientists, you can take a look at what makes this island nation so unique and vivacious. Now playing at the Museum of Science's Mugar Omni Theater. More at MOS.org. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Jeff Kinney, filling in for Billy Costa. Back in November, over 100 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and to take home this beautiful trophy. Today's matchup has Belmont High School taking on Needham High School. On the Belmont team, we have Eliana, Cameron, Tor, and Matthew with alternate Laura and coach Stacy Williams. Let's give it up. And for Needham, we have Jonah, Daniel, Seth, Ann, and alternate Izzy, and coaches Ken Brook and Brad Walker. Now, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Okay, so players, are you ready? Good luck. In 2018, what team beat the Los Angeles Dodgers to win its fourth World Series title in 15 years? Anne. The Boston Red Sox. That's right. In 1837, who ascended to the British throne following the death of her uncle, King William IV? Cameron. Victoria. That's right, Queen Victoria. The Andes Mountains extend all along South America from Venezuela in the north to what country in the south? Anne. Chile. Incorrect, Belmont? Yes, Cameron. Argentina. Argentina is correct. What war killed more Americans than both world wars, Korea and Vietnam combined? Cameron. The Civil War. Yes, correct. Okay, for this question, why don't you take a look at your screens. What U.S. president pictured here is mainly remembered for a bribery scandal involving the Teapot Dome oil reserves? Yes, Seth. Warren G. Harding. That is right. In 2018, the Boston Celtics unveiled a new training facility in Brighton named for what legendary former coach? Yes, Seth. Red Auerbach. That's right. The Ara River flows through what capital city of Switzerland? Seth. Bern. That's right. Nearly 12% of high schoolers vape. One pod of a Juul vaping device delivers the same amount of what highly addictive substance as an entire pack of cigarettes? Eliana. Nicotine. That's right. Long associated with fictional spy James Bond, what British intelligence agency recently launched a new campaign to recruit mothers for their emotional intelligence? Yes, Eliana. MI6. Yes, that's correct. Okay, this is a video question, so let's take a look at your screens. Hi, I'm Kumbhal Subhaswamy, Chancellor of UMass Amherst. Here's my question. UMass Amherst is home to the tallest library in the United States. It is 28 stories high and is named after what prominent civil rights leader who co-founded the NAACP in 1909? Cameron. Um, du Bois. Uh, du Bois, yes, that is correct. In the Odyssey, it takes Odysseus so long to get home because he and his crew have angered what god for blinding his son? Jonah. Poseidon. 
Poseidon is correct. The key swing vote on landmark decisions involving abortion and gay marriage. What U.S. Supreme Court justice retired in 2018? Tour. Kennedy. Kennedy is right. What composer born in Lawrence, Massachusetts, wrote the music for On the Town and West Side Story? Jonah. Gershwin. Incorrect. Belmont. Bernstein. Correct. Okay, this is a multiple choice question. A high atmospheric pressure is associated with which of the following? A, clear blue skies, B, thunderstorms, or C, clouds? Cameron. A. A, clear blue skies is correct. Okay, math question. The wholesale price of a lawnmower is $140. What is the retail price if the markup is 60%? The answer is $224. At the end of the novel, The Hunger Games, Katniss and what other tribute from District 12 threatened suicide to force the Capitol to declare them both winners? Eliana. PETA. PETA is right. What state that has some of the strictest gun laws in the country has the lowest rate of gun deaths among all 50 states? That is Cameron. Massachusetts. That's correct. What European country is a setting in Munro Leaf's classic children's book, The Story of Ferdinand? Tour. France. Incorrect. Needham? Seth. Spain. Spain is right. Elected governor of Wyoming in 1924, who was the first woman to ever serve as governor of a U.S. state? Cameron. Rankin. Incorrect. Needham? The answer is Nellie Taylor Ross. Okay, if it's a safer way of driving, it's good for society and it's bad for our insurance business. Warren Buffett recently said this about AVs, which stands for what? Cameron. Automated vehicles. Yes, we're going to accept that, autonomous vehicles. Which of the following substances is not acidic? A, coffee, B, seawater, or C, Coca-Cola? Jonah. B, seawater. That is correct. What former first lady is the author of Becoming, a 2018 memoir that sold over 1.4 million copies in its first week? Tour. Michelle Obama. That's right. One of the few places in Africa to be colonized only briefly, what country was occupied by the Italians from 1936 to 1941? Daniel. Ethiopia. That's right. Echoing Kipling's own childhood, what protagonist in the Jungle Book is abandoned and then fostered? Jonah. Mowgli. Mowgli is right. Math question. How many centiliters are in a 750 milliliter bottle of soda? Ann. 75. 75 is right. Monty Python released their first proper feature film in 1975 with what send up of the legend of King Arthur? Tour. Monty Python, the Holy Grail. That is right. In 1991, what talented but troubled figure skater became the first American woman to land a complete triple axel during a competition? Jonah. Tanya Harding. That's right. The slogan, greatest snow on earth, is on the license plates of what U.S. state located directly west of Colorado? Cameron. Utah. Utah is right. What film that won an Oscar for Best Picture stars Sally Hawkins as a mute cleaning lady who falls in love with a strange creature known as Amphibian Man? Tor. The Shape of Water. Shape of Water is right. What is the largest Scandinavian country in both area and population? Jonah. Finland. Incorrect. Belmont? Cameron. Sweden. Sweden is right. Latin for little man, what term refers to a neurological map of areas in the human brain dedicated to processing motor and sensory functions? Daniel. Homunculus. That is right. Who called for an Indian Removal Act in his State of the Union address and eventually signed the act into law? Tour. Andrew Jackson. That's right. In 1994, a brutal civil war broke out between ethnic Hutus and Tutsis in what country in Central Africa? Tour. Rwanda. That's right. A galactic X-ray source called Cygnus X1 was the first object in our galaxy widely accepted to be what type of object? Jonah. Exoplanet. Incorrect. Belmont. Tour. Black hole. That's right. What Egyptian president? 
That's the bell for the end of our round. And the scores are Belmont with 200 and Needham with 120. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> the head-to-head -head round is next, but first, we like to take a few minutes to get to know the players. I have a question here that I'd like to ask each of you. So let's start with Belmont. In 2010, people waited in line for hours to enter the wizarding world of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. What's the longest you've waited in line for something you really wanted and why? Eliana. I waited in line for an hour and a half to ride Space Mountain in Disney World, only to have to leave before I actually got on the ride. <laughs> an hour and a half, though. You must have had fast pass for that, right? Cameron, how about yourself? Um, I waited for three and a half hours to go get into the Paris catacombs. Oh, was it worth it? It was. Yeah, my kids were too scared to go, actually. Tor, how about you? Uh, something I really wanted, I waited for about a half an hour outside the, uh, the Vassar Museum in Sweden for a single piece of licorice. Uh, did you love it? Yes. Excellent. And Matthew? I once waited 20 minutes to go down a water slide. <laughs> you guys don't have to wait that long. I, you know, you're a little bit spoiled, I think, in this way. Needham, how about you? Jonah? Well, at Disney, they said there was a 15-minute wait for a ride, which turned out to mean 90. Oh, OK. So, so it's going up now. OK, it's expanding, at least. Daniel, how about you? Uh, I waited for about an hour in line to get my passport, and I really wanted to travel, so that was definitely worth it. And where did you go? Uh, the post office. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Seth, how about you? Uh, actually, in 2011, I did go to Universal and waited for that same Harry Potter ride. Excellent. You might have been in the same line. OK, Anne, how about you? Uh, last summer, I waited at my favorite ice cream store for about two and a half hours because it was closing permanently. Oh, wow. And was it good? It was good. And what flavor did you get? I think I got cookie dough. Excellent. OK. OK, now it's time for the head-to-head -head round. So let's come on down to the front, and we'll get started. <laughs> Right, we're about to go head to head. I've got Needham to my left and Belmont to my right. Why don't you guys shake hands and we will get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds and here we go. Who discovered Puerto Rico in 1493 during his second voyage to the New World? Columbus. That's correct. What creature from Egyptian mythology would kill and devour anyone who could not solve its riddle? Yes. Sphinx. Correct. In January 2018, for the first time in decades, measurable snowfall hit what capital city of Florida? Uh, ta Jacksonville. Incorrect, Tallahassee. What two-word Latin phrase is the scientific term literally meaning something that happens in glass? In vitro. In what year was Lyndon Johnson sworn in as the 36th president of the United... 1963. That's correct. Which of the Great Lakes is the main water supply for the city of Chicago? Michigan. That's correct. In 1863, what Confederate general was accidentally... Lee. Incorrect, Stonewall Jackson. In chapter 135 of Moby Dick, who gets caught in a harpoon line and dragged to his death by the... Captain Ahab? That's correct. Prized for its color and beauty since Neolithic times, what gemstone is made from fossilized plant resin? Amber. Amber is right. What Spanish city is the home of the Sagrada Familia? Um, Barcelona. That's correct. Bahrain is an island nation in what gulf? Yes. The Persian. Correct. Who was bound to a rock for eternity for stealing fire from Zeus and giving it to humans? Prometheus. That's correct. The Boxer Rebellion of 19... <laughs> Okay, that's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score. Belmont, 230 points, and Needham, 160. Let's give it up for these great kids. Next up is the category round with the following categories. It's a date, I'm just a bill, across the desert, swing time, we Can Be Heroes, and Catch My Drift. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer and will need your answer. Needham, you have some ground to make up, so you choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, I'm just a bill for 10. 
Okay, these are all questions about famous men named Bill. For 10 points, what former US president is known as the comeback kid? Daniel. Bill Clinton. That's correct. You're in control of the board. Across the desert, 10. Across the desert for 10 points. These are questions about deserts. Okay, for 10 points, almost the same size as the United States or China, what area covering 3.6 million square miles is the largest non-polar desert in the world? Eliana. The Sahara. That's right, you have control of the board. I'm just a bill. I'm just a bill for 15. I'm just a bill for 15 points. What comedy legend improvised all of his lines, including the famous Cinderella speech as greenskeeper Carl Spackler in the 1980 film Caddyshack? Jonah. Bill Murray. That's correct. You've got control of the board. We can be heroes for 10. We can be heroes for 10 points. These are all questions about mythical heroes for 10 points. What Greek hero saved Andromeda from a sea monster and also beheaded the Gorgon Medusa? Seth. Perseus. That's correct, you still have control. I'm just a bill for 20. I'm just a bill for 20 points. What American science educator and television personality is best known as the science guy? Eliana. Bill Nye. Bill Nye is correct, so you have control of the board. We can be heroes for 15. For 15 points. In an old English poem that's set in Scandinavia, who kills a grotesque monster named Grendel with his bare hands? Eliana. Beowulf. Beowulf is right. You still have control. Uh, we can be heroes for 20. For 20 points. Told by his mother he could either have a long, uneventful life or a short, glorious one, what hero of the Iliad chooses the latter? Jonah. Achilles. Achilles is correct. You've retaken control of the board. Let's go. It's a date for 10. It's a date. Okay, these are all questions about key dates in history for 10 points. America elected its first black president, Barack Obama, on November 4th of what year? Seth. 2008. That is correct. You still have control. I'm just a bill for 25. For 25 points, who won 11 NBA titles in his 13 seasons with the Boston Celtics and in 1966 became the first African-American coach of a major professional sports team in the U.S.? Cameron. Bill Russell. Bill Russell is right. You've taken control. We can be heroes for 25. We can be heroes for 25 points. What African trickster god who takes the shape of a spider uses his cunning to outwit his oppressors, a theme that inspired slaves in America? Cameron. Anansi. Anansi is correct. You still have control. We can, we can be heroes for 30 points. For 30 points. What legendary Persian queen is a narrator of 1,001 nights, stories she ends each night with a cliffhanger so that her husband will spare her life? Yes, Anne. Scheherazade. That is correct, and you've taken control, but you have to pick a new category. It's a date for 15. It's a date for 15 points. Under threat of civil war, King John of England was forced to sign the Magna Carta on June 15th of what year? Anne. 1215. Correct. Needham, you still have control of the board. It's a date for 20. Okay, for 20 points. Adolf Hitler took control of Germany after President Paul von Hindenburg appointed him chancellor on January 30th of what year? Tor. 1933. That is correct. You've retaken control of the board. I'm just a bill for 30. I'm just a bill for 30 points. In the 1940s, what Kentucky musician pioneered the bluegrass style of country music? The answer is Bill Monroe. And you still have control, but you have to pick a new category. Across the desert for 15. Across the desert for 15 points. The great Mongol empire, once the largest land empire on earth, originated in what Desert. Daniel. Gobi Desert. Gobi is correct. You have control of the board. Across the desert for 20. For 20 points. The geography of Nevada is largely dominated by what desert that's the largest within the United States? Daniel. Mojave Desert. Incorrect. Belmont, care to try? The answer is the Great Basin Desert. Needham, you still have control. Swing time for 10. Okay, swing time for 10 points. These are all questions about golf. For 10 points, the modern game of golf is widely believed to have originated during the Middle Ages in what country? Tour. Scotland. Scotland's right. You have control of the board. That's a date. That's a date, yeah. 
It's a date for 25. It's a date for 25 points. Charlemagne was crowned the first emperor of the Holy Roman Empire on Christmas Day in what year? <phone rings> Seth. 800. 800 is right. You've retaken control. It's a date for 30. For 30 points, five burglars were caught breaking into the Watergate offices of the Democratic National Committee on June 17th of what year? <phone rings> Jonah. 1972. That is correct. You still have control. Pick a different category. Catch my drift. Catch my drift for 10 points. These are all questions about continental drift and plate tectonics. Okay, for 10 points, the Ring of Fire is a roughly 25,000 mile long volcanic and seismic belt that outlines what ocean? Matthew. Pacific. Pacific is right. You have control of the board. Across the desert for 25. For 25 points. Pula, meaning rain, is a currency of what African country that's almost completely occupied by the Kalahari Desert? Cameron. South Africa. Incorrect. Needham? The correct answer is Botswana. Okay, you still have control of the board. Across the desert for 30. For 30 points. Satellite measurements in 2005 found an air temperature of 159.3 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest ever recorded in the Lut Desert located in what Middle Eastern country? Jonah. Saudi Arabia. Incorrect. Belmont? The correct answer is Iran. Okay, you still have control. Pick a category. Uh, catch my drift for 15. For 15 points. Tectonic plate movement is caused by convection currents in what part of the earth that lies between the crust and the core? Jonah. Mantle. The mantle is correct. You have control. Catch my drift, 20. For 20 points. The place where two tectonic plates collide is called a convergent boundary. The place where they move apart is called what type of boundary? Anne. Divergent. That's right, divergent. You still have control of the board. Catch my drift for 25. For 25 points. Which of the following is a classic example of a divergent boundary? A, the Himalaya Mountains, B, the San Andreas Fault, or C, the Mid-Ocean Ridge? Jonah. C. Yes, the Mid-Ocean Ridge. And you still have control. Uh, catch my drift, 30. For 30 points. Who originated the theory of continental drift by hypothesizing in 1912 that the continents are slowly drifting around the Earth? Jonah. Wegner. That is correct. And we're down to one category. Swing time for 15. What golfing term is commonly used to describe any kind of do-over or second chance after initial failure? Jonah. Mulligan. Mulligan is correct. And for 20 points, in his first year as president, Donald Trump spent close to 100 days at one of his signature golf clubs, including what Florida resort known as the Southern White House? Daniel. Mar-a-Lago. That is correct. That's the end of the category round. Belmont has 340 points, and Needham has 415. <laughs> Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. You get 20 points each for each correct answer. Incorrect answers cost you 20. The clock is set, and here we go. Good luck. What year marked the battles of Lexington and Concord? Tor. 1775. Correct. Which of the three major rock types is most likely to contain fossils? Eliana. Sedimentary. New England is made up of how many states? Seth. Six. Correct. What city is home to the holiest shrine in Christianity, the church? Yes, Cameron. Um, Jerusalem. Correct. In Greek mythology, Hercules was charged with completing how many? Twelve. Yes, Jonah. Twelve. Twelve is correct. In the 1962 film To Kill a Mockingbird, which actor won an Oscar for his role? Yes, Seth. Gregory Peck. That's right. In 2018, what historic home in Virginia opened a new exhibit called, yes, Cameron? Mount Vernon. Incorrect. Monticello. The provinces of Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec are bordered by what large bay? Cameron. Hudson Bay. Right. What is the name of the terrifying clown in Stephen King's novel, Seth? Pennywise. That's correct. What peanut-shaped comet visits the Earth every 75 Yes, Cameron. Haley's Comet. That's right. Name the only British Prime Minister ever to be assassinated. Tor. Um, it's Rayleigh. 
Spencer Percival. In 1947, what country was established as a homeland for India's Muslims? Tour. Pakistan. Correct. What dystopian novel introduced the terms newspeak and yes, camera? Correct. And that's the bell for the end of the round and the end of the game. And the winner is Needham with 495 points. The runner up is Belmont with 400. Needham moves on to play in the quarterfinals. So be sure to tune in. We'll see you back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Trees are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. <laughs> Production of WGBH.